Okay, I wanted to throw together a quick video for you guys uh, showing that I did finally get it to move. I got the uh, transmission working somewhat. Uh, I do have some issues. I, I didn't have, when I made these videos, I didn't have the steering hooked up, so I had to get off and manually turn it around to, uh, to make it go. But mainly this, this is just to show that the transmission does work and that the, uh, the way I have the cog set up uh, does move the vehicle, which is basically what I was trying to, to find out, to see how it worked. Um, what I'm going to end up doing is I do have the brakes hooked up now, so that does help, but I did end up with some problems. So um, I still got to do some um, reworking with the transmission. Mainly the problem I'm having is, is like I'm sure a lot of you are aware, the, the belts started slipping, and once they started heating up and slipping, I just got worse and worse, and finally it wouldn't, wouldn't move at all. So if I had to do it again, I would um, change the size of these pulleys. I would make these pulleys, uh, instead of these 4-inch car pulleys, I would use um, probably 8-inch pulleys, something bigger where I have more surface area for the, for the belts to uh, hold on to. What I'm going to do now, though, is I'm going to buy more of these pulleys. I'm going to double these up. So I'm going to end up with two belts on each side, and that should give me the, um, the traction that I need. Now, I also watched a couple of videos from Tankman101. That guy's brilliant. He's an Australian and uh, he makes tanks and one of his transmissions he uses uh, belts also. And what he does is he takes the belt and he bolts on a seat belt to keep it from stretching. And so basically I'm going to use his idea but what I'm going to do is use a bicycle chain and I'm going to wrap it around the belt, connect it, and then bolt it through to the belt. I'm um, using some small bolts and I'm going to I'm hoping that what this does is keep it from stretching. Now if I have to I'll use the seat belts, but I have all this stuff on hand, so I'm going to give it a try. Um, so I'm going to bolt the chain through and that should help keep the belt from stretching. And I think that's going to really help the problem with the slipping. So we'll just have to see, but uh, you know, it's trial and error. Uh, this is one of the things that um, you know, I, I found out and now I'm going to uh, try to fix it, see what we can come up with. But uh, I am slowly moving forward on the project and uh, you know, just stay tuned. Thanks for watching.